Is there objection? The senior senator from Florida. Reserving the right to object, I, uh, what's missing from this list is our Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act. In a moment, you're going to hear that it has this procedural problem, blue slip. Anyone who's not familiar with the lingo around here, that means it's, it's going to generate revenue and therefore has to originate in the House. That's what you're going to hear in a moment. Here's what's so interesting about it. About, I don't know, four, five, six weeks ago, that very bill passed by unanimous consent in this very Senate. This bill doesn't have a blue slip problem. It has a bunch of corporations who are making stuff in Xinjiang province problem. Okay? That's what the problem here. And so everyone's aware, everyone here is aware, I hope, in the Xinjiang province of China, Uyghur Muslims are put into forced labor camps where they work as slaves, something that this administration and the previous termed as genocide, they work as slaves making products. And there are American companies that are sourcing goods that end up in the shelves in this country. It is, in fact, almost certain that in this very chamber there is some product that was manufactured by slave labor in China. We passed that bill in the Senate by unanimous consent. Not a single person objected to it. There was no blue slip problem then. Now, all of a sudden, there is. This is because there's a bunch of, that's how they're killing it in the House. A bunch of these corporations lobbying against it, doing everything possible, and they know if it gets in this bill, it's going to become law. So I object, and I ask that the request be modified to include my amendment 4330. Is there objection to the modification? I object to the modification, Madam Chairman. Objection is heard to the modification. Madam Is President, there objection to the original request? I object. Madam objection President, is heard. I renew my request. Is there objection? Is 